Hey guys, today we're doing baby bodies, mostly kid bodies uh, and, and some baby bodies. So I put this sheet together of a lot of reference photos from stock photos that are um, not uh, under my copyright. So I feel kind of weird sharing it. But the good thing is that there is abundance of kids everywhere around us. And some of them have, some of us have a few of them. Also, it's, it's also, you'll see in the method, a lot like painting the animals and working with shapes. We're going to build up our person bodies so they could be doing anything that we want them to do. So it's going to be great. I'm going to have uh, a couple of sizes of sheets of paper. They're pre-cut. You might want to start cutting a few. And I'll be using the expressive phase tones as I have before and then veering into other colors um, because they're not face tones from head to toe. That would be weird. So um, I'm excited. I'm excited to do this. We're going to start off with the baby as promised. All right. So what's fun about babies is that we're going to start off with big heads. So big heads are just fun. They're just fun to paint uh, because because they're, they're, they're big. And, and it's just automatic cute, right? So the fun thing about babies too is that they have chubs. They, um, they don't have much hair, so we can do the whole head and not worry too much about having to cover up for the hair. There isn't much of a neck, so really I'm just gonna add a little bit of, uh, just a hint of a neck line here. Our baby's looking up as babies often do or toddlers often do. And we're just gonna do a little kid with his, with his hands up and his uh, legs down. I am gonna bring out my pencil real quick here. So if these are his shoulders, we go halfway to his nose and a little shorter for the second half of the arm. Let's do that again from here. To here and then we'll do arms. His body is like a rectangle and then he's got leg, leg, foot, leg, leg, foot. This looks so hilarious. All right the only reason I did that is because I want to do the hands real quick. Oh I don't like how dark that is. I want it to be lighter. There we go and it's still red want red. I don't want red. All right, so this, uh, this little guy, maybe he's wanting to be picked up. Maybe he is excited that he just started walking. We'll figure it out soon as we progress with our painting. I feel like I get to know my subjects as, <laughs> as I paint them. Like, oh, so that's who you are. That's who you are. All right, so he's looking kind of funny right now. I'm gonna outline. The, the fun thing about babies is that they also wear onesies, which are just like automatically cute, right? So I'm making the arms, the outline of the arms in this blue, starting thinner where the wrist is going wider because they're essentially wearing a, a sleep sack. Uh, we just don't call it that. So we want to market it better. And making the lines get thicker and further away from each other as they get down to the body. Now, instead of having a really flat line for the body, babies have a nice little tummy, right? And then the tummy, we can kind of see a little bit of his, his thigh and his spacesuit. And then this doesn't go all the way up to the crotch because they keep them nice and loose for you. Little, little hint of a behind there. So we've got a little hint of a tummy, a little hint of a behind, little notches for the, um, the knees. 
and a little rim of buttons because you need that. How do they do, gosh, it's been a while. How do they do this part? <laughs> this little dude has got to go to the bathroom sometimes. Oh yeah, they have the buttons here at the bottom. We don't have to do anything, the snaps. Let's put in some snaps. The million snaps, how could I forget? Oh my gosh, now I made them too close together, whatever. They are a million snaps, for sure on my baby suit. All right, let's give him some hair. This is kind of a greenish brown. Why not? And for hair, I just, I, I like to keep it simple. I mean, and a little curly cue is always fun. Curly cues are always fun. You know what? No. Uh, I'm gonna color that in. kid looks a little overgrown for this onesie. Not gonna lie, I think it's all the hair I gave him. But you get the feel. I got real quiet there at the f when I was doing his face. It's kind of do or die there. All right. Um, yeah, that helps. Bringing a little, little cheeks, a little more pink. That helps. Let's do another baby. We're gonna start out with what we feel most comfortable with, that being the face. So obviously I'm going to have my head up here. And in, in this part, I want to show you just the different ways to approach, not the different ways. In this part, I wanna show you how you can approach the form in a stick figure way, right? So if we have Let's make a stick figure, so why not? Okay, the most static, boring stick figure. All right, so what we're trying to describe here when we're drawing a stick figure is that there's a body. Typically, let's say it's got a waistline about here, and then goes out at the hips, right? So this looks kind of like a bust that you'd use if you were sewing. I'm gonna use a slightly different color just so that you see the differentiation. Our legs beginning from up here in two parts. Again, from up here. And I'm just doing these in ovals that kind of get a little more wide and rectangular. And feet, I'm just going to do them kind of as half circles. One is facing up and one is facing down, just to keep it interesting, because I can do that. At our arms, again in two parts. Now the length of the forearm from the shoulder to the elbow is not gonna go all the way down to the waist, just because it's kind of detached from there. If we swung this back, it might hit right on the waist. Also depends where your waist is. I have a, I have two sons and one has a long torso and one does not, so I, uh, I see a huge difference there. Then we have this second half of the arm and the hand. So these fingertips will fall at about short length, right? Halfway down 
the thigh. Let's do the arms again. I'm trying to cover up my stick figure line. There we go. And let's make them wave at us. Definitely going to need to thicken that neck a little bit. And we've pretty much got our body. Right, the head might be a little big proportionately, but with kids, they are big. So, hey, that works. Is this kind of creepy? <laughs> it's this big pinkish reddish body, but it was built on a stick figure that supposedly some people, you know, that's all they can draw. I'm just like, come on, dude. You can draw. All right, just for fun, I'm going to dress this person up a little bit. They're going to, it's going to have to be in, in colors that are darker. So I'm going to go, actually, I have some brown here. It's kind of a, a light brown. And I just touched the head. So I'm going to blot it just so I can get going on it fairly quickly. I like a nice deep side part. Let's give them some shorts. Khakis. I wish I were patient enough to wait for this to dry. It'll look much better. Whatever. Let's give him a shirt. All of these are, you know, kind of boxier over the figure. Right? Most people don't see my waistline on any given day. It's hidden beneath my clothes that overlap and are a little wider. Even if it's just a little bit. Our, uh, our shirt became a turtleneck. I'm okay with that. I really want this to go over the shorts, but the shorts are wet. <laughs> the shorts are wet. Sounds funny. I suppose blue will work for the sneaks. And just to keep it simple, we are going to keep these sneakers simple. I don't think my kids would ever wear shoes like this, they have to be way cooler than that, but this kid is very secure in how cool he is, so he doesn't, he doesn't need his shoes to be flashy. All right, and then we, um, we add our face as we usually do. Just gonna keep it to a few lines. Little blue eyes. Simple smile. And with whatever color you used for the skin tone, use that color in its purest form. If it's not dark enough, then mix it with another, um, a bit of brown to come up with something that you'd use as an outline. These outlines, I'm curving in and out just a little bit. Always like to show a touch of the knee. Just kind of gives us some visual points. We could easily go through each, oops, he's actually, his leg is like this, isn't it? So his calf should, should curve, there we go. Um, we could go through fingers and hands and and legs and explore all the different kinds of 
body parts, variations, uh, just could go on and on. But you know, when you, as long as you have a, something to distinguish the thumb with, and I lost my fingers, I'm gonna erase them, and have uh, some sort of division, right, for your five fingers, you're in a pretty good place. The face, the jawline, the nose as we've done before, and a few lines to uh, better describe the hair. Little corners of the mouth make them look much happier. Dimples help too. And I'm gonna try to show those fingers again.